outfitting the church industry with two-way radios is unfortunately not a one-size-fits-all solution. Which type of system each organization needs primarily depends on the size of the location, congregation, and the type of infrastructure in which the groups gather. Whether they operate on grounds or within a building, each solution may be very different. Let's run through a few hypotheticals. Here are three examples of different systems implemented within this industry. The first example is a church possessing a smaller to average size congregation, operating outdoors or in a small one-floor facility. For smaller congregations which gather outdoors or under a structure such as a tent, pavilion, or even a small one-floor building, a simple two-way radio system would be ideal. The XTR300U is a popular option as it provides 5 watts of power and will allow your team to communicate effectively. Next, let's say we are working with a large congregation, which operates in a multi-level building with a school also located on the campus. With a larger campus comes the necessity for radios and add-ons such as repeaters in order to extend coverage. When communicating on different floors or in between buildings, this extra boost will allow for more efficient transmission and reception. Again, the XTR300U would be a great option for this, as it is a UHF option which will allow frequencies to penetrate barriers such as walls and anything in between. If simply the handheld radios do not provide enough coverage, again, add on a repeater to boost your signal. Last but not least is the larger organizations, operating in multi-level buildings, which also provide services such as free transportation for its members. These facilities will definitely need a more unique two-way radio system. In this situation, LMR to LTE will be valuable for your operations. Interoperability enables the connection of your two-way radio equipment to devices that communicate over LTE cell towers such as mobile phones. So, connecting these handheld two-way radios, such as the XTR300U, would be the public transportation vehicle which utilizes a mobile device. An interoperability box would not only allow these two-way radios and mobile radios to interact, but it also connects to public safety members who are using cellular devices. In the case of an emergency or a disaster, this open line of communication would result in optimally quick response time. These are simply three unique examples of two-way radio systems used among various religious organizations. If you would like more information on which devices your team should be using, feel free to reach out to us here at Two Way Direct or check us out online at www.twowaydirect.com.